Hello, good evening to all who's watching and listening. Uh, since this evening, I've been learning a, a song called The Well of Sea Shanty, now which I have now finished. Uh, it's a very long song, which I need to learn before I play it. So, watch out, because who knows what will come what will come out in, uh, later on in, in date. But the, but I have the chords, it's on two pieces of paper, hold on, if you bear with me, just hold on. Bear with me, hold on. So these are the chords for when we see Shanti, right, so that's the first one, that's the second one. So, um, these are the chords for so all the songs I've, that I've done, right, you know, from Let It Be, um, Hey June, and all that, right, these are on the ukulele, which I've right. So I've done songs, right, which I've learned from the old songs that I like, like Hey Jude, Let It Be, and that from Beatles. Um, I've got a few new ones I'm doing now. Uh, I've got uh, Fear of Gold um, here. So these ones I've done just a few days ago. I think it was on yesterday I did before. And also, also I've done, I've got another one called uh, Blue Suede Shoes. Uh, it's, so it's this one, you see. So that's, uh, you can actually find this right on YouTube. Well, anyway, I, 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 I have a YouTube channel called Mix Interesting Things. So, at the moment, right, there's a chord, but I will take, you know, take photos so you can see for yourself in a way. And until, um, until uh, sometime tomorrow or at a later date, I will keep practicing, I will keep learning these chords, and I will also um, talk about other things like your autism as well, because I do have more autistic as well. And as I, as I said before, I was seven years old when I was diagnosed. Um, I did have, I didn't have that many friends. Uh, I do had, uh, I was uh, misbehaved, because I used to get into a lot of, uh, I won't say trouble, but I was misbehaved. No, because well, since I was very young, I had I was I had a ADHD, which means attention deficit hyperactive disorder. And unfortunately for me, right as I said before, I was misbehaved. I was dis I won't I won't say I was disruptive. I was misbehaved. I I didn't have that many friends. I had no sense of uh, danger. There's four of you know, other things as well, but not that, but not a very lot, not a very big list of it, just about five. I'll give you about three or four, but well, that's all I can think of so far, anyway. But, and until I was about seven years old, when I, when I was diagnosed, I, was, I didn't like, like some people, some children, right? And do you normally learn how to write before the age of seven? I'm not too sure how, how old, you know. But for me, right, I was a late learner. So when I was seven, right, I, I think I went to um, primary, and I do have a list of things where I've been to. Uh, if you bear with me just a minute. Um, here we are, I found it. Uh, so basically, at the age of three, I was at nursery. I did just thought I went to infant, infant right, but I, I, wasn't, I wasn't there very long. And then I went to a school in Yorkshire called Woodside School, right, which, is, which is on Bradford, right. And then after that, I went to Western Primary School for the age of six, but from the age of three to one to seven, I had that where I had, well, my mum thought, my, my, my mum thought that I had autistic tendencies which I didn't I, I, I didn't I, I did have actually have autism I was in right when I was seven so for the age of seven right, I had to go to a, a house in Lancaster that, that's no longer part of what it is because it's bought by um, someone right and it used to be called Red Rock House I was there for a while to find out what education I needed but, and then 
after that trial, I was, I was more corroded. But unfortunately, because I was because I was all autistic, I um, I was picked on a lot. Bullied, and I, I even I even got jumped as well one time, and uh, I, that that sent me home. Well, I don't know how long for, but I did have a really bad headache, right? Because I, I actually got attacked by a, um, which I won't say what happened, but because it's wrong and it's the school light at the time. Should have uh, done something about it, but I'm not sure if they had done, but I came on the way what happened. Um, and, from then, and then, after, and then from, so basically, I was, I was at, more corrupt from the age of seven, right? No, I was very cousin, I was more corrupt from the age of seven to 14. And when I was 14, I, I left that school because the school, because, because the school I was at, right, couldn't teach me anymore because of my, uh, because of my um, autism, you see, because uh, there was only so much I could learn. But then, but then there's been people, right, in right, right thought, going taken to a school in Lancaster called Lloyd. Unfortunately, right, um, I went to a school in Ripon, or Spring Hill School, and that did, uh, they're doing a very good job of that. From the very, from the very young age, so unfortunately then I I went to spinning off from fourteen until I was nineteen. So so the but from the last five years I was there for uh, I learned to how to write to tell the time, how to bake, how to you know, I did road safety because I I used to say before I had no I had no sense of danger. But luckily, right, and also, and also the reason why I had to learn the time is to, because every now and again I used to come home, right, I've done, right, every now and again, uh, with my key worker, to teach me, well, to teach me how to get from, from uh, Ripon to um, Morecambe, which is where I live now, um, but I'm not from Morecambe, which I'm from Bradford, and um, so that's what happened, but once I've done my road safety and I, tra I eventually came home on my own to walk by myself. So I uh, so Spring Hill School was actually was actually owned by Bernardo at the time. It's a charity, right? Very very popular charity, right? And we have one we have got one in Lancaster, right? And maybe I think one in Morecambe. Where I live, so as you know, the cross. I think they may cross the whole, uh, the whole, you know, UK as well. Um, I think so. So from the from the, until nineteen, all right. From well, I did. I, I went on holidays, but right to a lot of places. Right, so basically, it's right. Um, uh, you know, school right, was. Uh, a very good school, right? and it wasn't just a day school, it was a residential. But, um, but when I first started there, when I was, when I was, when I was 14, uh, I did get bullied on one trap, but, but a person tried to get away with it, and, and he didn't in the first place, apologised. So, unlike the other schools that I've been to, right, who I've been picked on, right, you know, I was different. Uh, you know, um, it was it was really hard for me because because when I was being booked, it actually upset me, right? Because I was because I was because I was told that my mum said to me many times the reason why people like to pick on people who have one who are sick or like, like, or have form of autism is just that they are jealous because we are able to learn more than than you know, I, I'm not saying. And I try is that well from my perspective really. With that book I've always been you know, always and I'm quite um, intelligent, you know, intelligent, interested in that to know what I've been what I can learn from the school I was at. So and then and then through one from the age of seventeen, right onwards till I left. Uh, I I did go on holiday, I went to Edinburgh, the school as well. To London, to Suffolk, to Wales, 
been basically I've been I won't say everywhere, but I've been to like like you know, like I said I, like I said before, I've been to uh, like London several times, I've been to Edinburgh more more than once, more I say but I, I, I lost count now. Um since this is at the time when I was when I was younger. I've been to Suffolk, I've been to a place called Doctor Farm, which is in the Northumberland. So basically this is all the school the school organised. I was at it was a boarding school and I, I was there for five years. And 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 but and but I but even though I was at the school's right, I still I had I had learned difficulties with my behaviour as well. I learned to control that as I get older, older now I can be in, I'm now forty one, right? And I still have those difficulties with but I still manage to uh, find hobbies to do. Right now I'm learning new clearly, right? As I show you right now, because I've done a few videos on where you look. I've done a few, a few videos. Well, I wouldn't say a few, but quite a few actually anyway. But you can find them on my YouTube channel. So, so that's all. That's all for me tonight. Um, if you want to ask some, if you want to leave a comment or anything like, or thumbs up, if you're happy or um, anyway. And by the way. It was my birthday, just, uh, uh, it was over last week, the week before, on the 15th, it was a Sunday, the 15th of May, it was, now I'm 41 years old. Um, so, until, um, until tomorrow, I'll say goodnight, and I'll see you all later.